Okay, this is uh, Block 8, Pax Americana, Section 2, the beginning of the Cold War with the section of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, or NATO. In 1948, Britain, France, and the Benelux countries, uh, the Netherlands, Belgium, and Luxembourg, organized themselves into a defensive alliance, a defensive alliance against the Soviet Union, and they asked the United States to join. All right, so you start with Britain, France, and the Benelux countries forming this defensive alliance. And then they asked the U.S. to join. This is novel in American history. The United States has joined alliances before, but they have always been in times of war. This theoretical alliance would be the first ever American peacetime alliance, a permanent alliance. Uh, the sort of thing that General Washington had so long ago warned Americans against. Never before had this happened. However, the positives were so vast uh, with, this, with this potential treaty. First of all, it works right into American policy of containing the Soviet Union. If the Soviet Union is faced with a united front, it is less likely that there will be gaps in power that the Soviet Union can take advantage of. Second, it was a way to reintegrate Germany. Germany would not be allowed into the alliance yet, but the planners of the alliance figured that at some point in the future, if Germany, if, if Britain, France, the Benelux countries, the United States are all in one anti-communist Western European, Western bloc, then West Germany uh, would be brought into it, and West Germany could continue along the path of kind of reintegrating Germany into the international community. And third, it was going to work to convince Europeans that the United States was not going anywhere, that the United States would be honoring uh, its post-war commitments. So this treaty, the North Atlantic Treaty, um, comes up for a vote in the Senate. It is the last gasp of the old isolationists. They mount one last uh, attempt to keep the United States out of this alliance, like they had kept the United States out of the League of Nations. Uh, but despite you know, their arguments, uh, the treaty passed the Senate easily, 82 to 13. General Eisenhower was appointed the first NATO commander in chief. Other countries also joined. The original NATO countries in this 1940, uh, 1949 was the year it came into being. The 1949 countries are, as you can see, uh, Britain and France, Spain, Portugal, um, Italy, Luxembourg, Belgium, the Netherlands, Iceland, Canada, and the United States. I think I got them all. Denmark. Denmark also. In 1952, the alliance grows. Uh, in 1952, Turkey and Greece join. You remember Turkey and Greece have been saved by uh, the Truman Doctrine, and they stayed in non-communist countries. They joined NATO in 1952. And in 1955, that process of bringing West Germany in uh, was also completed. And West Germany joined NATO in 1955. And what you can see here, um, is the kind of the clear division of Cold War Europe that you have the Soviet Union and the Soviet satellites that iron the Iron Curtain countries, and then you have the NATO countries on the other side. Um, in time, um, the Soviet Union is going to formalize their satellites into what was known as the Warsaw Pact. So in the Cold War, you had two opposing alliances. You had NATO which is the American side, the Western side, the capitalist side, and you had the Warsaw Pact countries, which are the Soviet Union and its satellites, the communist countries. The first, the NATO, NATO is very easy to remember uh, its mission, its job, and um, it's, it's brilliantly summed up by Lord Ismay, who is the, its first Secretary General. He said, the purpose of NATO is to keep the Russians out, keep the Russians from invading Europe. The Germans down. We don't want Germany becoming so super powerful again. We want to integrate Germany into Europe. And the Americans in. Make sure that the United States stays involved. NATO's purpose, keep the Russians out, the Germans down, the Americans in, uh, is a perfect way uh, to pithily sum up uh, the NATO alliance. NATO alliance still exists today. It has included, after the fall of the Soviet Union, many of the former uh, Soviet satellite countries, parts of Yugo, uh, the former Yugoslavia. It is the major European-American 
uh, alliance system that still plays a very large role in world affairs today. NATO, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization.